Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. My name is Do with Do Dots and Designs. I'm a decorative furniture artist and also a brand ambassador for Dixie Bell Paint. And I'm super excited today to get to show you all the basic steps that you need to do before you actually paint. What I'm gonna do today is go over the whole process of painting your furniture from the minute you get it in your door to the next step and then all the way into the finish. So hang tight, let me get my supplies together and we'll get started. So I got my piece in, we've got it in, I've inspected it, it looks good to go, no major repairs. The very first step you wanna do is clean your furniture well, even before you sand it. You do not wanna sand your furniture down while it's dirty because that's gonna grind that dirt right down into the surface of the wood. The product that I use is by Dixie Bell and it is called White Lightning. And this is mixed in with warm water in a spray bottle. So I take that, mix it in my bottle. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna spray it all over my piece. I'm gonna spray it very liberally and I'm gonna take either a cotton cloth or a paper towel, whatever you have, and you can go back and you're gonna wipe it down. And what you need to remember is one coat probably is not enough. You don't want to spray it once and then wipe it off. You want to spray it again and again. And trust me, you're not going to be using a lot because this is a, in a spray mister bottle. This stuff goes a long ways, a long ways. But once you wipe it off and it starts being clean and you don't see any dirt coming off, you know you're good to go. So you're going to take your water last and you're going to go back and you're going to mist all over it again. The reason you're doing this is because um, White Lightning is a powerful cleaner, actually, and it will remove a lot of stuff. But take the water, spray it down, wipe it off, wipe it clean, do it a couple of times, remove all of that residual leftover from the cleaner, let it dry, and then you're ready to go to your next step. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back, and because I'm painting it white, I'm gonna use a product called Boss, okay? Boss is a stain blocker and it stops bleed through. It comes in a white and it comes in a clear. Since I'm painting it white, I'm gonna go ahead and use this Boss in the white just to kind of base coat the whole thing. That way I don't have to worry about any bleed throughs. Boss is also great for blocking odors. So if you have a really stinky piece and you wanna get it to smelling better, just put a coat of Boss on it and it's gonna be fine. I'm gonna take the Boss, I have stirred it well, and the brush that I like to apply boss with is called the Mini. This is one of my favorite brushes and new brushes by Dixie Belle and I really love it. It's just a good standard, good brush just for painting anything. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put one coat of the boss on. It's super easy to put on and it covers pretty well. Hey, hey, welcome back. Um, I let this dry overnight. The color that I chose today is by Dixie Belle and it's called Cotton. It is a true, true white and I love this so much. I think it's gonna be perfect on this little bookshelf. So we're gonna take the cotton and I'm gonna give it a quick shake. This is chalk uh, mineral paint from Dixie Belle and, and you don't need to stir it. You know, a lot of paints, they tell you to take a stick and you stir it. I don't stir, I just shake it up. It works perfectly this way. So give it a good shake, mix it well, and then go ahead. I like to tap it a little bit to kind of get the paint down off of the lid. Just my little tip. Now, I'm gonna use this same brush that I use, and this is a Dixie Belle Mini. And before I start painting, I always like to dampen my brush slightly, and that allows the products not to absorb so much into the paintbrush, and it just kind of helps it glide across. So I'll give it a quick spritz. Take a little bit of the cotton. Doesn't take much. And we're gonna go ahead and start painting over the whole surface. Okay, I've allowed the paint to dry. The, I put one coat of the cotton on and went back to inspect it and it looks, it's really pretty good. The coverage is good. There's a couple of spots that it didn't get really good. So I went back with my paintbrush with the same color and I just painted over those spots. I didn't repaint the whole thing, just the areas that needed a little extra coverage. And I think that's fine. I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna get my supplies together and we're gonna come back and talk about top coats and what we're gonna put on this white piece of furniture. Okay, we are ready to put a top coat on, but before we do that, let me just say that with Dixie Belle um, chalk mineral paint, you do not have to use a sealer. 
The only reason I'm using a sealer on this is because this is going to be something that's used in an infant's room or the twin boys and I can just imagine the boys crawling up on this as they get older. So I'm going to protect it with a top coat and what I've chosen is Dixie Belle's top coat. This one is a clear coat is satin. It also comes in a matte and it comes in a gloss but I think for satin I think it's going to be just the right amount of sheen and it's super easy to apply. So I stirred this gently and then I'm going to go ahead and open it up and we're going to use the same brush that we applied the um, the boss and the paint and now we're going to do it with the same brush because I love the mini brush. The top coat is pretty thick. I don't know if you can see this. It is like, look, it doesn't drip. It's like thick, okay? This has a different consistency than most top coats. It's not watery. It's going to stick on your brush. See, it's not going to drip and come off. So, and it doesn't take a lot. And when you apply it, you're gonna immediately see the difference and you're gonna feel the difference in the top coat because it's gonna glide on. It almost feels creamy like lotion, I guess. Yeah, almost like a watered down lotion is what it feels like. So I'm gonna take it and just go across in long strokes. What you need to remember about this is that you don't wanna overwork it. You wanna start from one corner, work your way across, smooth it out, and then stop. Go to your next section. Put a little more on your brush. Come back over, all the way across. Just a nice thin coat. And then you're gonna stop. You're gonna do this all over the piece and you're gonna do it in sections and you're not gonna go back and overwork it, okay? So just a nice thin coat over the whole piece. See how I'm just brushing that on? and then I'm gonna leave it. Once you've completed the whole piece, you're gonna let it dry. It takes about an hour to dry. This doesn't dry like super fast like the paint does, but it does dry. Once you come back and you inspect it, you're gonna notice because we're using the satin, you're gonna see a little bit of difference in the sheen, which I like. It's gonna give it kind of a buffed finish. Almost like when I say buffed, almost like if you've ever waxed a piece of furniture and you kind of buffed it, it kind of gives it a little bit of buff look, I guess, for better words. Inspect your piece once it dries, get it in the light and see it. And sometimes you can see where you missed a little streak and that's not the end of the world. I promise you can fix that. Once it's dry, go back with the brush, go back over only on those spots and let it dry. It should be fine. It'll look beautiful. If you want to put a second coat on it, you can, but you need to let it thoroughly dry before you put your second coat on. I'm going to go ahead and finish up this piece and put this uh, Dixie Belle top coat on, this satin, and then when it dries, I'm going to get it all staged for you and set up and I'm going to show you how pretty this really is. Look how pretty this finish is. Just a nice, soft, buff look. Really a great look on this white piece of furniture. I really, really like the way this turned out. It's so cool. Hey, thanks for joining me with my basic steps in furniture painting and walking through this with me. This is so much fun and I think anybody can do it. And if you've never painted a piece of furniture before, don't be afraid to pick it up and just go with it. Dixie Belle has great products and there's no reason you can't master this look with any piece that you do. Thanks again for joining me and we'll see you in the next video. Happy painting.